Hi everyone, it's Adam from Family Gamer TV here, and we're back with our second part of our Let's Play of Lego Minifigures Online. This is the beta, and we are going to take a look at a few things this time. And just so you know, I have just started a subscription to the game, so you can see what you get for subscribing. Uh, it is. Let's just go into the shop. Look at the membership. It's five ninety nine for one month, which is what I've paid for. Um, it's about seven ninety nine in US dollars. And what you get for that is fifty diamonds every week, a minifigure bag every month, and you also gain stars faster, which means that you can level up and upgrade your minifigures much quicker, making the game a lot easier. And a lot quicker to get through the levels as well. Uh, it also has the pocket adventures here, and I'm not entirely sure what that is. Maybe that's uh, going to be the iOS spin off app or something like that. There is an iPad version coming, and I'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but let's go and have a look at the minifigure bag that I got. There we go. Let's open it up and see what we get. Oh, we got Skydiver. Cool, we don't have that one, so that's cool. Brilliant. Anything else that we've... Uh, oh, what's this guy like? Bash into enemies, and you can jump high into the air and skydive on top of your enemies. Excellent. Uh, can we upgrade that? Not yet. Okay, well, another thing that I wanted to, to talk about was... When you come to actually click on to buy anything in this game, the game will kick you out into a browser and it will send an email to the registered email address, uh, which is essentially your parents' email address. And what they'll have to do is then make a new password to then go and actually pay for what it is that you want to get. So there's kind of like, kind of like a couple of levels of security there, uh, which keeps keeps it away from from sort of someone buying loads and loads of stuff without sort of anyone stopping them. So that's pretty good. I like to see that. Because as a parent I don't want to get like a £500 bill on Lego minifigures. Thank you very much. Right, so uh, I think we have another minifigure bag. Oh, we don't. I thought we had. Uh... Okay, so let's get back to the game. And we are uh, we left it I think in this pirate cavern, tavern place, not cavern. Cool, there we go. Um, now as I'm here, I may as well see if I can actually upgrade any of my guys. Because we can't do the skydiver. And the Roman commander, he's the one I'm using the most because he's... Ranking up unlocks access to passive abilities. Buying passives costs stars or diamonds. Okay, let's have a look at this and see what we've got. Alright, we need to be level 6 to get any more upgrades on that guy. So who else do we have? Um, he's level 2 already, so... Yeah, we need to be, we need to be leveling up. Now hopefully we will be able to level up pretty quick because of the uh, because of the subscription that I've got which should enable me to earn stars much quicker. And our bumblebee girl, can we upgrade her? Nope. Okay, well then this is the other thing I didn't touch on last time which is the bricks. Which has you sort of creating like a little bit of a Lego puzzle here which enables you to sort of boost each minifigure's stats by the more things that you play. So the aim is to really complete this. There we go, and we've got getting bigger and better strength. And obviously the more you get, the better. There we go. So you can, that's one attribute, that's defense and that's attack, so we can sort of blend it together. 
don't have any of those, but we do have these. So obviously it's good to get a balance. Or you can try and go one way and see if that works for you. Okay, uh, let's do one more defense, shall we? Here we go. That's complete. Excellent. So let's get on with our quest. I can't remember what we were doing, actually. Ah, yeah, and the other thing is that once you subscribe, you can actually add friends and communicate to people in the game who also subscribe. So it keeps all that kind of stuff away from anyone who's just sort of downloaded the game randomly. Um, which means that you have to pay in order to use a feature that would be pretty much standard on any other online game. But I suppose the idea is that it keeps anyone who's just randomly down downloaded the game from communicating with children. So you can see it both ways. Right, our flashing cursor is going towards there, so let's head off there. All right, so we have to be level four and friends with Captain Pete. Fortunately, we are both of those. The Peg Leg Mermaid Tavern, awesome. Aha, who are you? Well, happy to see you too. Oh, that's the guy we helped break out. Yar. Yep, that sounds good. The Pirate Trials. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, so I imagine we are getting into an arena fight. Okay. What's that there? Uh, since I've started playing this game, it's also come to light that once the game releases, uh, maybe even now actually, if you uh, have, if you've bought a physical pack of minifigure, like a blind bag, that it may come with a code that you can enter in and unlock that minifigure in the game which is a pretty cool way of blending like physical Lego into the virtual one. Oh right, okay, we've got to loot the chest before the timer runs out, okay. I guess these monkeys are going to start. So I like the idea of blending those two things together with the physical minifigures and virtual ones as well. Just in the same way that Skylanders or Disney Infinity will blend the two together. Just adds a bit more sort of tangible reward to the game. I think it's a good idea for them get more kids into the game as well. Get out. Okay, we did that. We are an excellent looter. Fantastic. What's next? Okay. Uh, all right. Up here. Ah, stuck on geometry. So whether or not that will include Lego sets as well, maybe there'll be quests or something like that that you can unlock if you buy, say, a... Uh... Oh no! Oh no, we've got to go all the way back to the start. Oh, what a drag. If you buy, say, a pack, like a pirate ship pack or something like that, maybe that'll uh, unlock a new pirate level. 
Um, I don't know that. It's just like, it seems like something that may or may not happen. Okay, we've got to avoid these cannonballs. Whoa! <laughs> like, not like that. God, they're terrible. So it'll be interesting to see how far they take it, take it with the physical thing. Whoa. Okay, we did it. Certainly slicing into these guys quite easily. Although, we could do with a potion. Ah, that got ya. Now when you, uh, when that reaches zero up there, the Lego figure explodes, because I don't think I did that last time, because I was that much more awesome at the game. Which then costs diamonds to reconstruct you back together. Which is all part of the in-game economy. To keep you from having too many diamonds. So it, it, it sort of... It's as well to plan for uh, for things like switching. Like if one gets low on health, I think you can switch over and then deal with uh, play with that one, and then while the other one regenerates health. So let's see if our motorcycle mechanic can just. I don't know. There we go. Got some star. Build a cannon and shoot down the targets. Right. Thanks. Whoa! He's got a motorbike. Brilliant. Switch him, yep. Although she's not very good at combat, so let's go back to the Roman commander. Uh, that's not a cannon, that's a sign. Ooh, what's up there? I guess we can't leave the area until we've done it, so the cannon is here, where those monkeys are. Alright, let's build this thing. Another thing that uh, I've just seen as uh, I've loaded this up again, gotcha, is the uh, the progress that you, you gain in this beta will actually carry over to the full game whenever that launches. Uh, so that's good. Because I've played MMOs before in the beta. Most of them do this, is that they'll just wipe every spawn's progress as they switch the live servers on. So it kind of, I don't know, it makes the stuff that you're doing now kind of seem irrelevant in the end. And it can actually it put me off playing uh, Lord of the Rings Online when I first started playing that. Because uh, I got quite a long way into the beta and then it, of course it wiped everything and I didn't, didn't feel like actually playing it after that. But this one, this is kind of like a soft launch basically. So all the progress that you make in this, you'll be able to keep. Whoa, that's pretty impressive. Okay, our experience is going up pretty quick. It's a real satisfying feeling to smashing all that stuff. Oh, Roman Commander. Okay. No, not want you. I want you. That's it. Yeah, so it looks like good management of your uh, of your minifigures is the way to just avoid being smashed. Let's get this treasure. go over here. Another cannonball course.
All right, we're getting close to leveling up to level five. Okay. okay let's just run it. Oh, who are you, fire monkey? No. No, we did it. Oh man, those are a pain. I want to use this motorcycle skill again because that was pretty cool. All oh, right, we got a timer. I don't see a timer. Oh no, I'm stuck. So we have to do them all twice. In the meantime, all the fire monkeys are coming down. Ah, there we go, we did it. Alright, let's sort these fools out. Right. That's better. Right, well so far this has not been a very difficult pirate trial, which is good. I wouldn't be embarrassed. Yay, well, that wasn't so effective. Ooh, what's this? Build a cannon again. Looks like something that is locked over there. And if it is locked, I want to unlock it. There we go. And wait for the targets. Any minute now. Oh, terrible. There we go. Alright, so that's that one done. Oh, monkeys. Well, I've been taking a look on the forums as well for uh, for the game. Aha, so we did it! And uh, it seems that there's an iPad version of this game coming out probably just after launch, I think. And it made me think about the interface for this, and I would be very surprised if this was any different to the iPad version, because the way that the buttons are quite big at the interface here is all I mean I actually want to put my finger onto the screen and scroll with it so I imagine this is just going to be a straight port of this game onto the iPad and what is also interesting is that you're going to be able to play on the same server as everyone else so everything is in the same place uh, so if you have friends online on the PC version then you can play with them on the iPad version and I think you'll be able to carry on your progress with the same account uh, in the on the iPad version as you would on the PC version, so that's really good. It also... Oh, right, okay. We've got to defeat old Captain P. Let's run him over. Oh, what was that? Wow, he's really tough. Okay, let's switch. No, no, no. That's really stupid of me. There we go. Oh, he's not going to be very easy to do. Oh, don't shoot me in the back. But yeah, it explains why the interface is quite 
And some have called it really childish, which is funny because it's it's meant to be a game for children. But everything is really big, bright, and cheerful, and that makes sense really because it's going to be on the iPad. So why make war work for yourself by redesigning an interface? I mean, it works fine on on here. It's just every now and then. I feel like I want to put my hands on the screen and actually work it like that and use that rather than clicking the mouse button all the time because that gets a bit irritating. So I think this is going to work much better on the iPad than it does on the PC and I think it will get a bigger audience there as well. Okay, so we can go to Volcano Island now. Way lots of stuff. Excellent. Okay, let's just build these things because it's compulsive. Smash the bananas. Aha, there's our treasure room. Yes, loads and loads of stars. Brilliant. Right, I want to have a look at our... Because I want to drag this with the mouse, which I can't do. But I would be able to do on the uh, on the iPad version. Okay, let's... Skydiver. Okay, let's equip him. He can take the place of our bumblebee lady. Okay, so we can upgrade you. Upgrade for 50 stars. Yep. And that improves his build capability. Okay. Okay, so then we do have the upgrade. For that, let's have a look at our Centurion, our commander, because he's the one we use the most for combat. Oh no, I need to be level 6. Ah. Oh. Doing for bricks. That seems to be fine. Okay. Let's travel to the Isle of Yar. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little let's play. Okay, so we're going to go off to Volcano oh, Island and figures. see if we can uh, the subscription model uh, get someone, the someone's treasure. Because like that. so, that's uh, what we do as a pirate. Join us next time when we'll finish this. Pirate Bay instance, and then we'll probably head off to. Wow, I love the ship. That's brilliant. Quest as well. So, that's <laughs> stuff. so until next time, please click like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time on Family Now that's TV a big cannon. That's the type of cannon you want. Thanks for wow. watching. And take care. That's not our ship, though. This is our ship. It's a bit of a less cool cannon. Okay, that'll do. Oh, we have to be level six. Okay, so it's blocking off areas and, and for the for the right level. Okay, so let's. We're going to have to find something else to do. Okay, what's down here? Okay, there's an epic dungeon. Wow, that looks cool. Looks like we'll get a minifigure bag as well. difficult this is. Well they're pretty they're pretty mean, they're giving me a pasting already. Wow, 
Well, okay, let's try our skydiver. Whoa! Whoa, that's our skydiving ability. Man, these boys are tough. Okay, back to the Roman commander. Whoa. Okay, I think this is going to be a struggle for us. Okay. okay, let's break open some stuff. All right, we're getting some good health regeneration now. Okay. Now I'm thinking oh, we're going to go back and sort out our bricks because we need to get some. Okay, we've unlocked that. Um, okay, let's just sweep it clean. Because I'm happy with how much damage we're doing, but we are taking an awful lot. No, not uh, okay. Well, that'll do. There we go. Shouldn't have done that. Never mind. And we'll just have a token effort with that one. Maybe that'll help us out a bit. Alright then, you pesky old things. Oh, grief. Oh no, we got smashed. So our Roman commander is in pieces. Phew. Okay, so he's got that ability. And that one. And that'll take us back to the Lego quarter. Right, so... Alright, he's on the cooldown as well. So I'm wondering if he'll need fixing once that cooldown is gone. Let's find out. Check the world map. Where are we? Okay, so he's back. Alright, so I thought we had to pay diamonds to get him back, but... Obviously, it's just a cooldown timer, so that's good. I wasn't happy with the having to pay to get our, our own figures back in into one piece. Oh, monkeys! Never tell you I don't like monkeys at all. Oh, I keep forgetting I got that. Okay, it pays to smash nearly everything that you can get your hands on. Okay, let's try this Gladius smash. No, I guess that's my basic attack, so I'm just I'm being incredibly dense. Whoa, we've got a tiger. Whoa! Oh no. Okay, so we are half Roman Centurion is dead again. Uh oh. Where's the tiger? Oh. Oh, you can deal with it really easily. There's Romans for you. It's all formation, fighting, and fun and games and wine. But when it's faced with a tiger, no, nah, not having it. Yay. 
I'm kind of just using this to level up. I think there's going to be a boss fight at the end with the Kraken. So let's see if we can get there. I have a feeling I just want to rush these guys. Come on then, let's get past. What's up there? Whoa, we may have just created a big problem. Look at how many there are! Uh, let's go back to our Roman commander. Oh no! And jungle tricksters. Oh wow, here's a boss fight. God, we're going to find out what happens when all of our characters get smashed. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can wait for them to go, which is just a few minutes. I think as we're a subscriber, those cooldowns are pretty quick. I think if you're a free-to-play customer, then those cooldowns are much longer. So while we wait for that, why don't we just have a look at our other ones? Oh, what other ones? Is that okay? We got the Bumblebee girl. Series 10 bag. Wow, that's quite a lot. Okay, so we're back. Oh no, we're right back at the start as well. Oh man. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little Let's Play Part 2. Uh, we've had a look at the minifigures, uh, the subscription model, and talked about the iPad version and stuff like that. So uh, join us next time when we'll finish this Pirate Bay instance and then we'll probably head off to Volcano Island to complete that quest as well so that's exciting stuff so until next time please click like and subscribe and I shall see you next time on Family Gamer TV with Lego minifigures the beta thanks for watching and take care